ask Mr Eichhout to take the floor for the Greens EFA group. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, I couldn't follow everything you said, but, uh, but I think I can speak now. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, first of all, I really would like to congratulate uh, uh, the rapporteur, uh, Jan Huytema, for his great work on this file. Uh, of course, it started with a proposal by the Commission, and I do know that, that it was a big fight also in the Commission to get it out. But I think after that, the institutions worked in a very clear manner to deliver on this file. And this file is crucial. It's crucial to reach climate neutrality. And I just want to remind my colleagues who are now complaining. In 2020, they all signed up to climate emergency. In 2021, they all signed up to a climate law where climate neutrality is enshrined in our law now. And then this is the first law, the first law that we are working on a sector, a sector that is innovative, a sector that is moving, a sector that is shifting towards electric cars, and we can put in a law that is helping them, giving clarity, giving clarity to the market, giving clarity to the supply chain, that this is the way to go, and this is where Europe will lead, instead of lagging behind. Because, colleagues, also in California, they are going to zero emission vehicles by 2035, 100%. In China, they're moving there. If we want to maintain leadership on our car manufacturing, then we have to give clarity and a very strong signal to our markets. And those who claim to talk for industry are leaving industry behind. Because this kind of talking about not even going to 100% is only undermining the innovation that we want to attract within Europe. And that's at stake for today. And that is also why we as Greens, who always have shown that competitiveness, innovation and climate action go hand in hand, this is why we are so much support of this proposal. I just have to, however have a little bit of a complaint because this is also a fight that we need for the trucks. Also the trucks should go to zero emissions if we want to take the climate neutrality serious because trucks are still the easier to abate sectors if you look at airplanes and ships. And therefore, I hope the leaks are wrong that the Commission is not going to propose a 100% reduction by 2040, but that they are going to produce that 100% reduction by 2040 and not the 90%. Because this file on the car shows we can deliver. So please, Commission, step up your game on trucks so that we can really deliver on climate neutrality and innovation on this very important sector within Europe. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Eichhout.